Hello, great ones. Welcome back to our lesson for Tuesday. And we are going to count owls again. So I still have my owls up on the board. And we're going to go across and count if you remember the first row. So let's count. Say it out loud with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we have ten in our first row. Whoops. Okay, we have ten in our first row. And let's count how many do we have in our second row. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we have eight in our second row. So we could draw our number bond over here. What do 10 and what do eight make? Here, I'll turn that a little bit so you can see. What do 10 and eight make? So if we have 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, right. 10 and eight make 18. And I'll show you a trick with my cards is I pull them over like this to make the number 18. We had one group of 10 and then we have eight ones and that makes the number 18, okay? Now we're going to do a similar thing with our textbook. So I want you to get your textbook and I want you to open up to page 56, okay? So we're gonna open up to page 56 in our textbook. I'm gonna take these down. Okay. We're gonna open up to, let me write this at the top, page 56. Okay. And we've got butterflies on the top of that page. Can you see the butterflies? So there's a big group of butterflies, but then they organize them. Let's count the first ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So again, in our number bond, we have ten in the first group. And how many do we have in the second group of butterflies? Can you count how many? Right. There are six in our second group. We have the number six. What do ten and six make? Well, if we start at ten, we can go eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. And we can do the trick with my cards. We have one group of 10, and then we have six ones. So we get the number 16. Okay, let's go down to the pairs. How many do we see in that first group that's lined up? All right, we see 10 in the first group. And how many over here? One, two, three, four, Five. So we've got a 10 and we've got five. Do you know what number a 10 and a five make? They make, you can count up, 10 and a five make 15. Now let's go down to our frogs down here on the bottom of the page. What do the frogs have? Well, they organize them in a group of 10 there. And then how many other ones do they have over on the side? Right, did you count eight? So they have eight on the side. So we have a 10 and we have eight. Do you know what 10 and eight make? 18, very good. Okay, now let's go over to this page beside it there with the beads. Okay, so we've got the beads here. We've got 10 beads on the first string, and how many on the next? 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 10 and five make 15. Ooh, then we've got some stamps. We've got 10 in the first row, and how many down here? One, two, three, four. 
10 and 4. What do 10 and 4 make? A 10 and 4 make 14. Perfect. Turn the page over. We've got some birds. Okay. And we've got a circle around 10 of them. And then we've got five more. So 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. A 10 and 5 make 15. And then if we look, we've got some grasshoppers. We've got a group around 10 of them again. And then we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. What's 10 plus 8? 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. You've got it. So it comes in handy to make our group of 10 because then we know what team. The group of 10 is the first number and then how many beyond the group of 10? Just like our number here, right? We have a group of 10 and then we had eight others. And when we put them together, it makes the number 18. Oops, okay. So in your workbook, you are going to do, today you're going to do exercise 36, which is these two pages, and you're going to do exercise 37, which is another couple pages here. Okay, and again, you're gonna add 10 and another number. Oh, exercise 37 is those two pages. Okay, so 37, and you're going to do exercise 36. So both of those in your workbook. Okay, have fun.